Rich Lab, a student from Insign Senior High School, soon to be called Kwame Nkrumah Senior High School, is on the news. You see, there are so many conversations going on about her claims that the National Science and Math Quiz, a celebrated competition in Ghana, is for a show, not a bogus show. The National Science and Math Quiz, it should not be used as a benchmark to determine whether a school is good or not. Okay, it's not bogus, but no, then it should no, no, not be used to say that this school is better than this one. That's what you said. That's what I said. And I'm sure that you might have heard some of these stories, but then stay close to listen to the side of what or the projection that I'm going to make on this channel. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vix, and I'm back with another awesome video. There is a trending news going on about a female student from Insight Senior High School making one of the boldest claims that our education system is not helping. GES is not helping. The category or the class of students that we present to the National Science and Math Quiz is a reflection of how Ghana is coming. The whole claim is all about we select some special students who are by nature good. Then we select some teachers to groom some of these people. After grooming them and they sit for this kind of National Science and Math Quiz, go to the same school, the school that is highly celebrated to be giving birth to brilliant scholars or scholars. The same school, if you are to pick at random students who you are wanting them to work on a particular project or you ask them questions, you find some of these students coming from these big, big schools that we know who happen to win those kind of quizzes, you find them wanting. I'm wanting you to watch this video and the angle that I'm going to project and how some of these things is a reflection of how Ghana is going. And you will know that Rich Love is not just making one of the boldest claims, but Rich Love is analytical and also a critical thinker. If a school is, is, is fortunate enough to gain an academically endowed student, they pick that student up, add a little polishes, and then they gamble with the student. For a show? Yes. If they take you in, it works out perfect. If it doesn't, let's, it let's go into presec. Let's randomly select a student and ask questions. You see, the student will be fumbling. But they, let the school authorities themselves pick out a student for you and ask the student. You see, pa, 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 you get exactly what you want. But if you randomly select, you see the difference. So when you put Ghana on the table, dissect its parts, open it up, you see that those people occupying big, big positions, they are the same people from those big institutions Ooh. and then they are the same people who steal who are corrupt stealing the money stealing Ghana's money building their own companies and then they sit down and look for honest people to come and run them for run it for them <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny when you think about like when you sit down and think about it, it's actually funny but our agenda here is to produce nobles nobles like yourself my god i'm a noble Share. what you are doing alone is having an impact in the education system you see, the main objective is not to produce lazy people, not to produce corrupt students, but rather to produce people who will be able to go out there, make an impact. People who will be able to change the corrupt methods. We are not part of the story of corruption. When you come to Kwame Nkrumah Senior High School, our, our core values is discipline, integrity, hard work, and excellence. No matter what you do, we excel. So, Talk not about NSMQ. We are talking about the quality of the goods being produced. If I'm a queer student, I'm being groomed, I perfect everything, I go out there on telly, I'm perfect, but then I come out and I'm not able to meet the standard of community. What good has the school done to me? I'm sure by now you might have understood where Rich Life is coming from. Rich Life is not saying that National Science and My Schools is a book of show, just as some people on social media are saying. See, it's just saying that the education that we know that has three sides, that is to gain knowledge, a skill, and also to acquire judgment. It looks as if that Ghana is focusing on just knowledge. But what about the informal side of education, that is gaining the practicality, that the vocational training? We are using National Science and Math Grades or Chu and Po as a yastic or as a benchmark to mark academic prowess. And that is where um, um, Rich Love from C in Science in a High School is basing her facts on. 
But while acknowledging the true empowerment, why don't we also acknowledge the skill-based aspect of education? That is why in her video, she told you that those kind of students who happen to go to those special schools, those kind of people or class of people are the same people who are now leaders. Now that they are leaders, those people that we presume or we have the perception that they are good students can solve societal problems. And so therefore, what's happened to education? Because education, we acquire knowledge, the knowledge that we acquire through true and poor, through skills, and also to solve societal problems. There is a book written by Paulo Freire in 1968, basically talking about the relationship between education, power, and social change. And Paulo was making reference to, this, uh, to the extent that some system of education has made students to be passive receivers. That is, we just receive the information and we can't just argue on the information. But Paulo is trying to tell us that in as much as we have received the information or received the knowledge, we should be able to argue that in as much as you are telling me that, let me ask the critical questions regards to what I've received. Upon asking the critical questions from where we receive the information, it will help us to appreciate that indeed when knowledge is passed or when an information is passed, we are supposed to also think critically about it and give feedback. Paulo also makes references to we making social change. The education that we receive should impact on the change that we are wanting. And you and I are aware that Ghana as a country, we have so many social problems. Issue of Galamse, issue about inadequate infrastructure, issue about roads. These kind of problems have been persistent for a very long time. It's not something that just came recently. It is something that we are facing. And the same people that we claim to have gone to the, one of the best schools in Ghana are not able to fix those kind of problems. When you paid attention to Rich Life claims, Rich Life asked the Goshes that Goshes, what would Ghana lose if we are to cancel or if the National Science and Mass Creator that we are celebrating at the moment is cancelled? Let's say we all wake up one day and then there's nothing like the National Science and Maths quiz. It does not exist. What is Ghana losing? Ghana wouldn't lose anything. And she also asked the question, what would Ghana gain or lose if we invest in vocational skill, attaining skills to solve problems and to also manufacture um, um, teddy bears? Let's say we take the same investment and then we invest into another program, a program where the hands are being put to work. And then let's say we produce toys, Christmas toys, and then they are being sold during Christmas to we to, yes, to the children. And how does that want to affect Ghana? What effect? <laughs> how would Ghana benefit from these things? Ghana is going to benefit hugely. In a way, it is solving problems. So the basis of Rich Life argument that has gained a whole attention on social media to the extent that someone has gifted her thousand Ghana cities is that formal education is good. But we shouldn't use the true and poor method of which the, in the National Science and Mastery sorry, are using as a benchmark to marking academic progress. We shouldn't use only that as a benchmark, but we should also try as much as possible as a country to also invest in the vocational aspect of it because it is tested and proven that the vocational aspect of it solves problems. So whilst we identify problem in, in the society through the formal one, the true and poor method, we can use the skill-based method to also solve problems. If you have followed me for quite some time now, you realize that on the channel, I, 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 I brought out a documentary where a gentleman from Western region called Obed designed a small car. These are some of the things that we are saying. Obed saw a problem in the society. And in wanting to solve the problem, he invented a car. Obed is not the only person that has, you know, invented something in Ghana. Let us use the popular, the all-knowing, the master of all, um, Mr. Kantanka of the Kantanka Automobile. Kantanka is able to invent things in Ghana, flat screen, car, a whole lot. Has he been celebrated? 
partly, right, partially. Why is he not getting the help as a country? Just because we value formal education, the true and poor method, that is running the country down, we have not been able to help Kantanka. I'm not being partial, and you know it. Do you know the claim? We say that Kantanka's products are not up to the standard or the benchmark that the colonial people are using as a yastic to mark in the standard. So, in as much as you think he doesn't reach there or the brand doesn't reach there, what is the country doing? So that's the problem that we've identified in regards to Kantanke's brand, right? We have identified a problem. So how are we helping him to solve the problem? You and I are aware about these Tata brands and all that, Mercedes brands and all that, transitioning from a, a low class to a, a higher class right now. So how are we going to help Kantanka to build? And I am shocked to the extent that people like me who have gotten formal education or have gone through the formal education are on Rich Love's neck on social media trying to tell Rich Love that Rich Love is wrong. Okay, how many leaders have so far been in government? What are some of the promises or how many promises have they given you, you watching me? How many of them? And out of the promises that they've been able to give, how many of them have they been able to execute or do for you? It really tells you that there's some, sort of, there's some sort of relationship, sorry, between our form of education and the sort of development that we are facing or we are getting. Trust me, do you know why now students from Africa are being encouraged to go to the Western world to seek education? Yes, there is a problem which is backed by research that the white people, they've stopped formal education. The majority of them who used to embrace formal education have stopped. Now, do you know what they are investing their time? They are investing their time in skill attainment, attaining skills. So when such a person attains skills, because skill attaining and small addition or acquiring of knowledge will help you to solve real world problems and get money and fix the problems in the society. So in as much as we, we have raised the level where we value formal education rather than skill attainment. Race Life is just trying to tell us that, please, Ghana Education Service or Ghana as a country or Africa, we shouldn't use the true and poor method as a benchmark or as a yastic to measuring academic progress or to tell that this school or this student is good. Because the same student who is able to do true and poor method can solve problems. But when we provide a balanced perspective regards to skill attainment and also um, 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 formal education. And that is when we, 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 we will go and appreciate the, the essence of education, the essence of education being felt in the society. The essence of education is to solve problems and cause social change. And that is what Rich Love is just trying to say. I don't know your whole perspective regards to Rich Love's claim, but let me know at the comment whether Rich Love says something of which you don't agree. At what point do you understand Rich Love's claim? Because Rich Love is just like your sister who is at a senior high school. And upon hearing the information from her, I saw that indeed Ghana has a future and Africa has a future. To me, I am telling you, I value and I also salute Rich Love for the submission of which she gave. And a whole lot of people are talking about it. No matter the social class, the high and lows, they are all talking about it just because whatever that she said is true. What is the purpose of gaining education and not solving societal problems? That is my question for you. Let me know what you think about the video. This is Vice Main TV. My name is Ambassador Vix. See you next time in another episode. Sokoto, Mayande. Please, with all due respect, this one goes to you, the youth. When it comes to critical thinking, let us raise our standard a little bit. Just a little bit. Please.